welcome back. We're going to take a look at a more advanced stoichiometric problem. So the question says, how much iodine is needed to produce 28.6 grams of iodine chloride according to the following unbalanced reaction? So remember the first step we need is to balance our equation. So let's take a look. Let's see, we have three oxygens on the left-hand side and only one on the right-hand side. So I'm just gonna start by putting a three here, which means I have six hydrogens now on the right-hand side. So I can come over to the left and put a six. Now I have six chlorines and I have a chlorine here and a chlorine here. So I need to decide where I want to put a coefficient. If we look back on the left-hand side, I have more than one iodine on the left, but I only have one potassium. So I'm going to put my coefficient in front of the iodine because I know I'm going to have to add more anyways. So I have six chlorines on the left-hand side. I have my chlorine split on the right-hand side. So I'm going to put a coefficient of five here because I have five chlorines here, plus one will give me six chlorines. I have one iodine here. I need two more because I have five iodines on this side. So I'm gonna put a two here, which means that I have five iodines in total on the left-hand side and everything is balanced, which is great. The next thing I need to decide is what mole ratios I'm going to use. So I'm working with iodine chloride, ICL, and iodine. So I have a coefficient of 5 that I'll be working with and a coefficient of 2. So let's go ahead and start writing out our dimensional analysis for this problem. So we have 28.60 grams of ICL. And we want to know how much iodine we would need to produce this much iodide, iodine chloride. So the first thing we're going to do is change our iodine chloride into moles. So I need to know the molar mass of iodine chloride. So I look on the periodic table and I see that iodine has a mass of 126.9. Chlorine has a mass of 35.45, which gives me a total mass of about 162.4 grams. And that's of iodine chloride. The next step is to use my molar ratio. So I'm trying to go from moles of ICL into moles of I2. So my moles of ICL need to go on the bottom so that unit will cancel out. And my moles of I2 will go on the top of my fraction because I want to know how much iodine I need to make 28.6 grams of iodine chloride. And I took those numbers straight from my coefficients. Those are my mole ratios. The last step is to figure out how many grams are in one mole of I2. So again, I look on the periodic table, see that the mass of iodine is about 126.9 grams. I need to multiply that by two, which gives me a mass of 253.8 grams. And all that I have to do now is just simplify everything in my calculator. So I have 28.6 times two times 253.8 divided by 162.4 divided by five, which gives me a mass of 17.88 grams of I2. So it takes 17.88 grams of iodine to produce 28.60 grams of iodine chloride. All that we have to do is go from grams into moles, use our molar ratio using the balanced equation, and then one more conversion from moles into grams, and that solves the problem. 
Again, it's really easy as long as you're staying organized and you can see that all of your units cancel out. Grams, moles of ICL, moles of I2, and we're left with grams of I2, which is exactly what we wanted. So as long as you're staying organized, stoichiometric problems can be very simple. I hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any further questions and check out any other videos if you have questions regarding any other topics. Thank you for stopping by.